Hi guys, welcome to my Singapore vlog where I will be eating a lot. And this sums up my week in Singapore. Super, super, super hot. It's too hot. So this is day one. I arrived really early in Changi Airport as I took Scoot. The airport is very beautiful, but everything is closed as it is super early. But I can't wait to explore. As it is 6 a.m., I have all the time in the world, so I took the bus to the city. I did enjoy the bus ride as I get to go through a lot of travel attractions in one go. But as it was too early, I couldn't check in, so I just went to a coffee shop nearby and enjoy my coffee, read a book, and look at this cute doggo. So this is the hotel that I'm staying at. It is quite spacious and it has a balcony. Generally, I would say that the stay was fairly comfortable and the services were good too. Location-wise, it is perfect as it is on Orchard Road and it is just a few minutes away from the MRT. It is extremely hot here, but pretty nice. So our first stop is the new Tin Food Center, and this place has been featured in Crazy Rich Asians. All of these are so open, but most of them are As you can see, a lot of stalls are closed, so we don't have much options. And even though this is a hawker center, I think that the fact that they only take cash or local e-payment is quite inconvenient. So we had the Hainanese chicken rice, tong yum, and some chicken wings. And overall, I think it was all right. I would expect the standard of the Hainanese chicken to be better, but it was just like normal. Super, super duper hot. Look at this. We took the MRT to Chinatown and just chilled at this cafe called Home Ground Coffee Roasters. And their coffee is quite good. This area is quite vibrant, a lot of like nice restaurants, lots of nice bars. But you know, at this time of the day, everything is closed. Then we walked past this really cute cafe called Fute Notes, and their cake was surprisingly good. I was so tempted to get a full cake for my best friend, but it's just too big. And then we continued with our walk. And this area is just really, really, really traditional. And I must say, Singapore is very clean. So after our really long walk, we are at Clark Key. This is the historical Singapore River. And there are a lot of bars around. So we just head off to the rooftop bar overlooking MBS, the river as well as the buildings in Singapore. I had such a great time here because it's been a while since my sister and I catch up. So we chilled at this bar for quite some time until dinner time and then I went home to freshen up for my best friend's birthday dinner. We went to this Italian restaurant called De Luca. It was recommended by one of our friends and I would say that the food is relatively yummy. The portion are huge, the pasta was handmade as well and the sea bass was super rich and flavorful. I really enjoyed my time here as there were a lot of birthday celebrations and so the entire restaurant was just playing happy birthday songs non-stop. And then we went to Fullerton Hotel and by Fullerton there is this amazing view of MBS. So we just had a walk there and had some orange juice as most of the restaurants were closed. 
next day, I took the bus to meet my friend because Grab here is actually quite expensive. For a few minutes ride, it's probably 60 Hong Kong dollars. So I guess the only option is public transport. So this is Common Man Coffee Roasters and it is one of the popular cafes in Singapore right now. And my friend was kind enough to bring me around and this is the CBD area that is quite close to Clark Quay in Chinatown. And this is a nearby hawker center called Lao Passat, which I will later be visiting. This actually reminds me of Hong Kong with a lot of high-rise buildings. As Singapore is really small, everywhere is actually walkable, but the walk could be quite long. And this is our attempt to walk to MBS. Hi! Hi. Welcome to Singapore! <laughs> but because it rained, at the end we had to take the MRT to MBS. The mall is very clean, very nice, very modern. And right next to it, there is a museum which we tried to go to, but then Team Lab is completely full, so no luck. After that, we went to Apple Store, which is fully surrounded by water and it has a 360 degree view of Singapore. And then we went back to Orchard Road to have a coffee and cake. And then I went to meet up my friend and as he was hungry, so we just grabbed a quick bite followed by our favorite froyo from Lao Lao. And then at night, we went to Night Safari, which brings back a lot of childhood memories. I did really enjoy Night Safari as I get to see a lot of animals like lion, rhino, as well as the show was really interesting as well. After that, we got a bit hungry, so we went to Lao Pa Sat, which was the food market that I passed by in the morning. Generally, I think the food was alright, but my favorite was definitely the Kwai Tiu, which was very, very flavorful. And then the skewers were also not bad. The next day, we're off to this popular branch called Coconut Club. And they're famous for their nasi lemak, which is a fried chicken with rice. So this is a squid, some ribs, some veggie, and then this is the chicken. Then we took the cap to Zhou Chiat, and this is a cute area that is full of boutiques, cafes, restaurants, and a lot of people come here to take photos. Hot. So we're going to this pakote place. So this is a special pakote that comes with the ingredients. And this is the normal one. Honestly, I think that they taste kind of similar. It's just the differences with whether you want the ingredients or not. As for the taste, it is not that herby, but it is very peppery. 
We walked past this acai berry place and we decided to have a try. What was it? The heart. Huh? Not that hard, but okay. The fruit's really hard. The gooey bear. Mm -hmm. For dinner, my friend recommended Boon Tong Ki, which is famous for Hainanese chicken. I do like their chicken because it is very tender. For dessert, we went to this place called Yagayan. They do Hong Kong dessert, which is very tasty. After our heavy meal, we finally made it to MBS by foot. And honestly, it is quite a pleasant walk because it was very chilly and there's not a lot of people. This is a very romantic walk, so please bring your partner if you have one. Otherwise, a solo walk will do too. So inside MBS, there is a club and a casino and we decided to check out the casino. And this is day four, so I went to CBD to meet up my another uni friend for lunch. It's very cute to see her working, and we just had a sandwich as well as a coffee. And since everyone is busy, so I just wander off to this area. Hi guys! So I'm at this area where the Sultan Mosque is. So I'm just like strolling around on the streets of London. This place gets busy at night, so it's nice to come in the afternoon to take a look at the interesting stores here. So I just kept walking until I found Raffles Hotel. Raffles Hotel is definitely a landmark in Singapore, so I have to visit it. Very nice architecture, very clean, very classy. So I did try to get into the lobby to get a photo, but then they won't let you in unless you're a guest there. But no worries, I know my way, so I just found an outdoor cafe inside the hotel and got a Singapore milk tea and just chilled for the afternoon. I'm going to Gardens by the Bay right now, so I just took the bus and then I'm on the lift. And I honestly hate the rain in Singapore. And I had to walk all the way in the rain to the gardens by the bay. And then at 8 p.m. there will be a light show. So we just checked it out.
For dinner, I am meeting my ex-flatmate. We used to live together back in uni, and now she is busy as heck. And the next day, we went to this place called YY Cafe Dian. They're famous for their kaya toast, but in a brioche. Honestly, till today, we still do not know the proper way to eat this. And apparently, there is a Singaporean and Malaysian way of eating this. We're not sure how to eat as well, but we believe that we should just dip it. And I think that some people would add soy sauce and pepper to the egg as well. And it was surprisingly good. I do like it. As I'm very keen on Hainanese chicken, we did wait until 12 and ordered a portion to try and it was quite decent. It was very tender. And just hours later, it started drizzling again. And I'm off to this bar called Employees Only, one of the best bar in Singapore. And then we went to another bar and the vibes here are pretty amazing. It's very cute, a little bit of, you know, gothic style, Halloween vibes. going right now so I'm going for food at Maxwell Food Center because that's the only place that is open right now and just now we went to Junior a junior the Korean bar. inspired place yeah. and prior to that we went to employees only apparently one of the top bars in Singapore and I am starving <laughs> hope you have a good rest of your trip Marty. thank you Loving Singapore. She posted a throwback photo. Yeah, so long ago. YouTube video. Oh my Is God, this your car? car? Okay. So most of the stalls in Maxwell are actually closed. So we just went to Heidi Lao for hot pot. And this is day six, my final day. And since I didn't get to eat Hainanese chicken rice last night, I came here the next day. It is super cheap and the portion is not small as well. But in general, I don't think it is worth the hype. It's alright, but it's not like, wow, it's super amazing. And then after that, I just walked around the streets and waited for my friend to get off class. Singapore is definitely the most safe place in the world, so it is definitely okay for a girl to walk around solo. As he got off class, we just had a random bowl of noodles nearby and waited for dinner. For dinner, we went to this Italian place that opened from LA called Osteria Moza and it is surprisingly good. The ambience here is very nice as well, it's very like casual vibes, but very clean and put together as well. So we ordered two pasta and it was very very yummy but what surprised us was the chicken. After dinner, we just went to a speakeasy bar nearby and enjoyed my last night here. A week passed by so quickly especially when you're spending time with your loved ones. I really am grateful for their time and effort to see me and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!